everyone um, today we are going to discuss about new and old value in pl sql trigger so first let us understand what is this new and old keyword in pl sql it's actually when whenever we insert uh, do any dml transaction like uh, adding updating or deleting in, in database in a particular table <coughs> there is uh, two kind of value known as old value and new value old value is the value which is in the database which is in the uh, written in the hard disk in written in the disk and new value is the value which is which we are writing on the memory so so whenever we are executing suppose firing some trigger if some trigger is fired so we can use this old and new concept so to compare the value ch changes um, the user is making in the memory so we will be writing here one trigger uh, the name of the table is holiday master which i am using here this is the description of the holiday master table so there is holiday id holiday date holiday date description create user create date type modify user modify user type so we will be using only this three or four columns whenever required holiday id holiday date holiday description and create user so let's first uh, write the trigger out so for writing the trigger let us first uh, let us discuss something uh whenever we are inserting some data in a table so just just think about this whenever we are inserting adding on it a new record in a table so there is no old value that is nothing on that respect of this uh, respect of this of that row no nothing is written in the disk so we are writing a completely new record so here only the new value is there no old value is there in case of updating you are having your old value which is existing in the that row is existing in the disk and we are writing changing some column value changing some um, field value and the new value is there and in case of deleting there is no new value only the something is written in the disk which is the old value which is being deleted so just keep in mind while you are following this trigger return create or replace trigger holiday trick i am writing before trigger so this trigger will be fired before the, the transaction occurs before trigger uh, sorry before insert or update or delete on uh, holiday master so i'm sorry i'm just told you about designation master so it is not designation master it is holiday master so let us uh, once again go here and okay it is holiday master so i'm myself is confusing a little bit so it's holiday master so before insert or update or delete on holiday master and just remember one thing new value in an old value is exclusively for each row it's not a statement statement level to, to, to statement level which is something which can be performed in statement level because new and old value is only specified to a to a specific row at a time so it will be for each row only for each row begin and end so i've created the block if inserting then dbms output dot put line old value is okay old dot let us take holiday dsc holiday dsc again new value colon the so syntax is uh, colon then old dot column name 
and colon new dot column name dsc so we are writing this if inserting is updating if deleting because we want to check out which one you can also do the just we want to check out we are writing this so, uh, before inserting okay before updating is copying this one and I think you know this one what is if inserting this condition uh, I'm not I'm not describing this right now this is a clause uh, whenever insert takes place if inserting condition set is set to true whenever our update a update on table is taking place this uh, if else if updating uh, condition is being true and when delete is taking place this one is true so before delete updating before deleting so this is my figure so I'll just copy this and execute it compiling it so let us check in the database let us confirm whether the trigger is or written in the database. Okay, it's been written, but there is some compilation error. So let us open in edit mode and compile it again. Okay, it's nothing. Uh, I've just uh, by mistake used the double quote instead of single quote. Because double quote is not allowed in DBMS output port line. So now it's compiled. So now we'll go to the SQL prompt. And because that is the best way, you can also check it here. We can also run it here. Uh, if you open any, uh, any SQL window, there is a place called output where you can see the DBMS output. But still, I'm using the SQL prompt and here I'll write all the transactions. So first one is insert into holiday master. I'll take three column holiday ID holiday DSC and hello holiday date. So let's also ignore holiday date because it's uh, not it's not not null. Null is allowed. So holiday ID I don't know the uh, this is a primary key I don't know the last value duplicate I have to avoid duplicate I'll write some abstract large value holiday DSC let us say Christmas. Okay, uh, I missed something. This values. Before inserting old value is blank. As I told you, new value is Christmas. So now update. Holiday master. Nothing written in the disk. That's why there is no old value and value written in the disk so that is a new value set holiday DSC equal to Xmas where holiday ID 
equal to what is that value 3045 now see before updating old, old value is Christmas new value is Xmas ok got it now we will delete the value delete from ID master where holiday ID equal to 3045 ok no old value no new value no old value because it's been already deleted so you got no uh, ok there is old value oh, I told you before that there should be, there will be old value because it is already written in the disk and there will be no new value because mm, you are nothing writing in the disk it's been uh, omitted from the disk so it is retrieving the old value before deletion and it will so uh, the, the new value will be there so this is all about so let us check one thing we will again insert this one we will again insert this Christmas and we will make a slight change in our trigger ok I have repeated the same mistake old value is nothing new value is Christmas so let us open this holiday trick and just make it after now we execute execute the delete statement it's all the same Be if you do before, ok it's written before, I okay, am again just changing this compile again we have to insert this old value is nothing, new value is Christmas and after after deleting old value is Christmas, new value is nothing so uh, can let's check out one again the update statement insert and just copy it uh, where is update, where is update, yes update old value is x Christmas, new value is xmas so you can see this is uh, about old old and new value uh, so I am repeating again in instead statement there is uh, the record does not exist previously so so what happens there is no old value there is only new value, new value. in case of update statement the record is already existing and whenever you are changing the value it is a new value which is in the memory and to be written on the disk and in case of deletion there is no new value there is only old value which has been deleted from the disk now as I told you old value and new value is only uh, considered when you are writing a row level trigger so if you comment this form you are just writing a statement level trigger so now try to compile it new or old reference not allowed in table level trigger ok so statement level trigger is not allowed uh, old and new value is not allowed in statement level trigger so this is all about new and old value so just check your value you can also do other things suppose if you want to check whether 
your table is actually updated or not your value is actually changed you can compare new value or value while updating a system while updating, updating a row in a any row in a table and you can do other things also so this is um, all about old and new value in this tutorial i hope um, you like this video do press the like button if you like this and you can also subscribe to my channel this is a cbhr1976 Thank you very much.